you're happy with your glass not having refraction, then rendering with an alpha layer is actually really simple, which is why this is the first of the glass tutorials. Obviously, if we go to render layers and film, we have to set the alpha to transparent so that we actually get transparency at all. And now I want to have a look at the uh, material of the glass. So I'm just going to drag that up here and swap that to the shader editor. And I see you've got a glass material there, which is good, but it's not actually right. You made an educated guess, but unfortunately, in this particular circumstance, it's wrong. What I'm going to add instead with Shift A for add is a glossy which I'm going to set to absolute white and I'm going to turn the roughness right down so that at the moment what it is is a mirror which is partly what we want I mean we want it to be reflective but we it's not currently transparent right so I'm going to add a shader a mix shader and so this is going to go into the second bit and into the first bit, we're going to add a transparent shader. So now it's just half and half transparent and glossy, which is okay, but I think we can improve on that. Let's add uh, in Converter, we have a fantastic new node that has just shed loads of possibilities, which is shader to RGB. So if we connect up from the glossy to there, and into factor, factor controls, okay, now totally transparent, now completely glossy. What if we put the color into here? It will mean the lighter colors appear opaque and the darker colors are transparent. Okay, but we can improve on this more. I'm just gonna shuffle that bit out of the way and just get some more space here and add a Fresnel. I believe this demonstrates what a Fresnel does. So I've basically got a Fresnel node going into an emission and what it's doing is it's making the edges come out white and a dark gray for things that are facing directly towards you. And I'm gonna drag that up there this time to, and that to there. I'm gonna add a maths node, which by default is add, which is what we want. If I put it there that cuts that in two and that's add the Fresnel to this brightness and I'm going to clamp it which means that the numbers can't go below zero or above one so it can't be above completely opaque and this what this means is though as well as the light colors being opaque the edges where the uh, the surface is pointing at a, an acute angle towards you are also opaque also, in material settings, we need to set the blend mode to alpha blend. And that's it. We don't actually have to do any compositing. And alpha. If you can think of anything else that's hard to do in Eevee with alpha, give me a shout and I'll see if I can twist some notes together till it works. Thank mm -hmm. you.